Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Rhode Island Rams battle the UNLV Running Rebels. Hello, everyone, and welcome to college basketball's national championship game. We're here at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. I'm Vern Lundquist with my partner, Bill Raftery, and our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson. What's your take on this, Bill? This game features a great matchup at the point guard position. Galinda is clearly up there with the greatest point guards in the nation. If you drive the lane when he's down there, you're taking a chance. He's an intimidating defensive presence. Parra is also among the nation's elite point guards. This guy's an animal on the offensive class. Defenses had better box him out well, or he'll be right there for the putback. Both of them are great competitors. Kunla backs in, takes it up, scores the opening field goal. They lead 2-0. to zero. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Tracy Wolfson. Tracy? You guys, earlier today I caught up with the running Rebels coach. He wasn't lacking in confidence when I spoke to him, that's for sure. He said they've never had any other goal this season than winning the national championship. That's how confident he was in his team's ability. And he said everything we've done has been in preparation for this moment. I knew we had the ability to get here. Our guys have proved me right, and now we just have to finish the job. Guys? Thank you, Tracy. The steal. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep, and then capitalize. This is the first. Good on number two. Morgan inbounds the ball. Bold pass. Hannon. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Vern. Can't come away with a three-point play. Montague hands it off. Nice move. Good job on the layup by Galindo. They're now up by three. Drovic pulls the trigger. North calls in the board. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. The crossover. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Off on the second. Morgan catches it right wing. Bounce pass to the stripe. Hernandez. Count it. And he'll have a chance for the three-point play. No good. And they don't get the three-point play. Montague dumps it off. Goes up. It was nailed by Ibi Kunlo. He's got four. Hernandez passes to the top of the key. Madrovic goes to the crossover.
down low. McGrovey was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Herman makes his first appearance. Ibi Kunle inbounds the ball. Under eight minutes left in the half. Dumps it down low. Backs down. North with the shot. Herman pulls it in. But they're still out in front by four. It's stolen by Galindo. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one up easily. That last shot missed from 13. Hernandez catches it outright. He has a great rhythm from there. It's kind of a low start in this world of dunks and triples. Galindo brings it up court. Uses the crossover. Makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. Morgan inbounds the ball. Hernandez passes it up court. The lay-in was good by Madrovic. But they're still down by two. Under seven minutes left in the half. Passes right wing. Ibi Kunle backs in. Montague throws it up. No good from downtown. Still a two-point lead. Haram beats it to the inside. Let's it go. They rule this one goaltending. Count the shot. UNLV takes its first time out of the game. Well, let's get back to the actual. The UNLV coach may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Petkinus goes up, puts the hammer down. And they now go up by two. Right wing. Sizing up his man. Takes it up. Can't convert. But he'll go to the line for two. Knocks down the first one. The Rhode Island coach is going to put some new players on the floor, and I think that's a wise move. The guys he's going with really play well together. He gets them both. And Goy inbounds the ball. Right around six minutes left in the half. Passes it to the baseline. It's tipped, and it's controlled by Rhode Island. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Maxwell brings it up the floor. The running Rebels will get this one back. Petkinus. Denied. Hooked away. Morgan went after that rebound hard. Great work. Skips it to the paint. UNLV has had serious problems with their interior defense. 
and Tracy has a report from their bench. The running Rebels coach just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. They've got their defense and it's minimum. Down the first one, Haram will head to the bench. And he'll come away one of two. And Doyle did get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. Off target on the last layup. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by UNLV. Herman inbounds the ball. Morgan tosses it up court. Bounce pass, outright. Shavies takes it up, slides in with a soft finger roll. And they go up by seven. UNLV is really struggling. Mouton, nice little crossover. What a play. He followed his man right up and was able to get a hand on the ball. Maxwell gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Shavies puts it up, knocks it down from 20 feet away. They're leading 24 to 15. Bold pass. And it's scooped up by Hernandez. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Last basket was made by Shady. And Gore inbounds the ball. The D just can't figure a way to stop this run. From eight feet, nearly had a chance for a three-point play, but he'll go to the line for two. Fifteen foul. Shooting. Peckham takes the shot. Can't sink the first. Raises up. Good on number two. Pokes free. The Rams will retain possession. Stolen by Mouton. I'd love to see that. He's lurking around then pounce. Such a deep burn. They cut the lead to eight. Shavies swings it cross court. Dishes to the wing. Shavies can't get the three pointer to fall. But they're still up by eight. Uses the crossover. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. McGrogan will check into the game. on the free throw for the three-point play. Herman inbounds the ball. The steal by UNLV. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that will give him the three-point chance. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Getting set to inbound the ball. Deflected, and it's picked up by UNLV. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep, and then capitalize. And that puts them in front. 
tipped away. But it's tracked down by Rhode Island. Hernandez way up court. The Rams were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. They were just out of sync on that one. The pass went one way, and he went the other. Ibi Kunle inbounds the ball. The running Rebels looking to extend their run. Passes to the wing. Montague, the crossover. He tried to get fancy. He was looking for the highlight reel finish there. Willis has it outside. Hannon. He makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. And it's a one-point game. Crosses it over. Knocks it loose. And it's scooped up by Willis. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. McGrogan inbounds the ball. Rhode Island is shooting itself in the foot with all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The head coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants, our fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. All right, Tracy. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Cuts off the pass. He goes up for the Hail Mary, but it's extremely dangerous to toss it up like that, Bill. As we saw, somebody will come down with it, but it isn't necessarily who you want. Willis tosses it up court. Willis to the rim. Laid in with the D draped all over. And they're now behind by one. Montague inbounds the ball. 124 left in the first half. Galindo with the crossover. In the key, buried by North. They're now up by three. Leads him with the pass. McGovern finishes in close. He's got six. Fifty-seven seconds left in the first half. Right side. Hannon is tagged with the reach. We're in the bonus, and they'll go to the line for a one and one Chan checks in for the first time. Knocks down the first one. He gets them both. McGrovic inbounds the ball. Willis hands it off. Chan. Lead pass, down low, hooked away. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. This is the first. He sinks the second. Willis.
Shavies, no look pass to the left side. Usually if he gets any sort of room, he nails it. If I'm the defense, I don't let him get another chance from there. Errant last shot by Hooper. First half comes to an end with the score 38 to 34. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. If we don't see some improvement soon, this could be even further out of reach. They need to make some adjustments. Let's see who we have as our player of the half. Bill? Bhutan is putting on a show, Vern. If you like offensive fireworks, then you must have had a lot of fun watching this guy in the first half. Whenever he has to get to the bucket, he'll do it. What a warrior. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. We're all set to begin the second half. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Tracy? At halftime, I caught up with the run in Rebels coach. He told me that he thinks it is going to take a different approach this half for them to hold on to this lead. Coach told me that he wasn't going to play this next half by the book and that he'll try things that some might call counterintuitive. I guess we'll see what he means soon enough. Guys? Nice work, Tracy. Haram from deep. Ibi Kunle grabs the rock. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Fires. The three-pointer knocked down by Hooper. He's one for two for the game. Hernandez goes up. Cannon gets the offensive rebound. Hands it off. Picked off by Hooper, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. Goes up. Snatched off the defensive glass by Hernandez. Pulling down the rebound. Off the deck. Perimeter. Madrovic releases. Knocks it down from three-point land. He's shooting 80% for the game. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Passes it to the left wing. Ibi Kunle backs him down. That will be a goal tip. Morgan inbounds the ball. Stolen by Hooper. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then pounced. Such a thief burn. Deflects the pass. But it's recovered by Morgan. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Madrovic takes it up. Superb rejection. Behind the arc. Ibi Kunla grabs the rebound inside. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. North takes it up. Can't connect on the short-range jumper. Still a six-point lead. Swing pass. Right wing. Goes up. Fouled hard there. He'll get two free throws. Makes the first. He gets them both. Montague inbounds the ball. North backs down. Has it top of the key. Stolen away by Rhode Island. Morgan passes it up court.
he completes the three-point play. Galindo bounces it to the left wing. Ibi Kunle backs him down, goes up, buries the teardrop layup. They now lead by three. About seven and a half minutes left in the second half. The Rams were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Oh, that was not a good look. It wasn't about the defensive pressure either. He just fired it off target. Ibi Kunle inbounds the ball. Nice little crossover. Gets it to go, and he's got a chance to add one more. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Vern. Shavies is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Backs on the free throw for the three-point play. Knocked loose. The Rams with some abysmal stats. Top of the key. Skips it to the wing. The steal by Galindo. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. That last dunk was slammed down by North. Too many holes in the fence, Bill. All you need is one to go down, and then boom! The student section is having some fun now. Those fans are a special group, Bill. They get way into it. These fans are loving it. We get a packed house in here, and they're going ballistic. Morgan inbounds the ball, and it's a 10-point game. Hernandez takes it up. Hook loose. Shoots it. The turnaround shot was off the mark by Hannon. Galindo fires it way up court. Montague. Just throw it down. His coach is going crazy on the sideline. Rhode Island seems powerless to stop this run, and Tracy's got something for us on that. The head coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this run around. All right, Tracy. Madrovich dumps it off. Skip pass to the paint. Cannon can't hit the turnaround jumper. North tosses it up court. They gotta find a way to stop this onslaught. Well, the best defense can be a good offense, and they don't seem to have one right now. Galindo. Hooper dishes it to the wing. Backs in. Ibi Kunle unloads. Swish! By 14. The Rams will try to end this run. The Rams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Morgan inbounds the ball. Stolen by North. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. To the free throw line. Ibi Kunle backs down. The last shot laid gently in. This team is taking complete control of the game. We're moving into blowout territory, Vern. Right around five minutes left in the second half. Madrovic bounces it to the wing, goes up, laid up and in by Shavies. 
10 points, and he's the top scorer for his team. Galindo takes it up. How many times have we seen that tonight? Time after time, someone is coming up with a great rejection. Morgan has it left wing. Shabies backs in, catches it left wing. Oh, net on the shot by Madrovic. But they're still behind by 12. Montague inbounds the ball. UNLV may have made some changes just now. Tracy Wilson has something for us from near their bench. The running Rebels just had an impromptu coaches meeting, Burn. One of the players yelled, why are we rushing our shots so much, guys? A point coach reiterated. He told them, slow things down and chew up the shot clock on every possession. Makes the first. Both teams will make some substitutions. He gets the second to fall as well. Montague will come off the floor. The Rams with some difficulties. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Hernandez inbounds the ball. High post. Tosses it up. The D recognized the shot was coming and got out there on him. Nicely done. Dumps it inside. Peckman lays it up and in. They're in front, 62 to 46. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. Stolen away by Fouts. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Fouts with the floater. Hernandez grabs it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. And Doyle gets called for the reach, and that's his first foul. You're never going to get away bumping the ball handler on a steal attempt. Too aggressive. Hernandez inbounds the ball. Stolen by Augustine. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Pokes free. And it's controlled by Rhode Island. Picked him clean. Well, the game just slows down for him to the point he sees things that others don't. Tip, but it's tracked down by Faust. Pekimus backs him down. It's off. Hannon just picked up his third foul of the game. Pekimus unloads. He can't get the first. With plenty of space, he sinks the second. Morgan inbounds the ball. 2.46 left in the game. The steal by Augustine. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. It's tipped, but it's recovered by Morgan. The Rams need to find some answers here. No look pass to the baseline. Harum from 18 feet away. And Doy cleans the defensive boards. Parham. Considering how much he's been struggling, they're lucky it's still tied up. If he could just give them a little bit more offense, they'd be in great shape. Swing pass, left wing. Hannon. UNLV calls time. They're in front by 18. 156 left in the game. The running Rebels will bring all of their starters back to the floor. North inbounds the ball. 
Galindo goes to the crossover. Amazing to see a guard get his hand on so many attempts. Shot blocking is mostly about timing and anticipation. This guy has plenty of both. Just too much contact there, Vern. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. Shooting two. I can't sink the first. Good on number two. Goes up, got the whistle, and he'll shoot a pair of free throws. That's his fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Morgan inbounds the ball. Cooper picks it up. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a thief burn. He's got nine. The shot in the paint was drained by Hannon. They're now down by 19. Galindo, way up court. Takes it up. Got a hand on it. Ibi Kunle to the rack. It's good. Nice offensive rebound. And they now go up by 21. Rhode Island is really struggling. Catches it down low. Parham dishes inside. No good on that last shot by Hannon. The Rams will retain possession. Hernandez inbounds the ball. The steal by Montague. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three-point chance. Faust makes his first appearance. Good for the three-point throw. Shavies didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. The Rams have got a lot of ground to make up. The break is on. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Great job by the defender. He got his feet set and sacrificed the body. Faust checks in for the first time. Knocks it loose. From 12 feet away, connects. Great job to hang on to the lead. They're doing it all out there. Madrovic hands it off to the stripe. Kicks it out to the left wing. North inbounds the ball. Releases. No luck on the three-pointer by Hooper. Rhode Island is really struggling. Morgan puts it up, gets the three-pointer to go. You have to keep your head up and eyes open at all times playing with this guy. That's right, and you never know when or where he'll find you. Dangerous pass. What a pass. Cooper. It falls short. Faust passes it up court. Morgan got it. My, oh my, what a game. College basketball has a new national champion. What a sensational season for this coach and this team. These players rose to the challenge in the Final Four just as they did throughout the year. They played with such heart in this tournament.
the UNLV coach, is a terrific leader, Vern. It's a great tribute to his masterful coaching. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. Now let's send it over to Greg Gumbel. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game-changing performance. A slam dunk that brings the crowd to its feet? Always a fan favorite. The UNLV running Rebels were dominant on the inside today, and that made all the difference. This thunderous jam tells you all you need to know. What a sensational finish. This dunk will definitely wind up on the team's highlight reel.